Thelma Ritter, the scene stealer of classic cinema. In the golden age of Hollywood, there were iconic movie stars who graced the silver screen. Names like Marilyn Monroe, Betty Davis, Clark Gable, and Humphrey Bogart immediately come to mind. However, among these legendary figures, there was one unsung hero who consistently stole scenes and won hearts with her on-screen persona and unforgettable charisma, Thelma Ritter. Thelma Ritter's performances were often the highlight of the classic film she was in. Thelma Ritter was born on February 14, 1902, in Brooklyn, New York. She had a natural knack for acting, and her distinctive voice and down-to-earth demeanor made her a standout character actress in a sea of glamorous leading ladies. Ritter's ability to portray relatable everyday characters like nurses, maids, cooks and housekeepers endeared her to audiences, and she often outshined the well-known stars of the movies she was in with her wit and wisdom. Thelma's big break came relatively late in life. In 1946, when she was 44, director George Seaton, an old family friend, offered her a small role in his upcoming film, Miracle on 34th Street. The film came out in 1947 and was an immediate success. Her short scene left a favorable impression on viewers and movie directors alike, and from that humble beginning, launched a long career of 19 years, working alongside the biggest stars in Hollywood until her death in 1969, at age 66. In A Letter to Three Wives, 1949, Thelma Ritter played the role of Sadie, the working-class friend of the three leading ladies. Despite the film's star-studded cast, Ritter's character stole scenes with her straightforward wisdom and genuine warmth. In All About Eve, 1950, Thelma Ritter played Betty Davis Loyal and No Nonsense Maid. While Davis delivered a memorable performance as the aging actress, it was Ritter who added humor to the film. Her deadpan delivery and candid observations stole the show, earning her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. In the delightful and memorable comedy, The Mating Season, 1951, perhaps her funniest film, she starred alongside Jean Tierney and John Lund. Ritter played the role of the mother-in-law, who when her business goes under, she goes to live near her son. She surprisingly finds out he will getting married soon, but she is too embarrassed to admit she is the mother-in-law to her new daughter-in-law. So she pretends to be a for-hire cook and maid. Her comedy talents were on full display, and her scenes with Tierney showcased her ability to shine in a comedic setting, even in the presence of a glamorous leading lady. Thelma Ritter's performance in The Model and the Marriage Broker, 1951, is a romantic comedy film offered Ritter a rare leading role, allowing her to showcase her wide range of talent. In the film, Thelma Ritter plays May Swayze, a marriage broker whose business is to help lonely hearts find their matches, offering Ritter the opportunity to explore a blend of humor, heartache, and help. May Swayze is a character with a practical and somewhat cynical view of romance. She recommends love for others, but not for herself. Ritter's character serves as a sort of wise maternal figure, offering guidance, but also learning from her own mistakes along the way. In 1952, Thelma Ritter played Clancy, the loyal nurse to Susan Hayward's character, Jane Froman, in With a Song in My Heart. While Susan Hayward's performance was universally admired, Ritter's down-to-earth nurse provided a steady and uplifting presence in the midst of the highs and lows of life. The film is a biographical musical based on the life of Jane Froman, a well-known American singer who overcame severe injuries from an airplane crash. Her unwavering support and empathy for Jane is deeply moving. Ritter masterfully expresses a range of emotions, 
from concern and compassion to quiet strength. Perhaps Thelma Ritter's most memorable performance came in the film Noir Classic Pickup on South Street, 1953, as she played the character Mo Williams, a street-smart informer. Although the film featured talented actors like Richard Widmark and Jean Peters, Ritter's portrayal of the streetwise Mo created quite a memorable role. Her scenes were often the most riveting moments of the film as she is caught in the middle of a dangerous web of criminals. Ritter offers a masterclass in character acting. At first, she is upbeat, funny, and charismatic. Then she becomes concerned with a dangerous situation and offers poignant words of warning and wise counsel. As evil surrounds her, she becomes weary yet resilient until she meets an unfortunate death in the film. In an era where Hollywood often glamorized its characters, her portrayal of Mo is 100% authentic. She looks and acts the part of a woman who has spent her life hustling on the streets and eventually is beaten down and worn out as she fights for survival in the fringes of society. Her performance garnered her yet another Academy Award nomination. In Titanic, 1953, Thelma Ritter played the character of Maud Young, a role that was reflective of the unsinkable Molly Brown, a real-life passenger of the Titanic. Ritter's portrayal of Maud Young was a perfect fit for her acting style, known for its wit, strength, and a touch of sarcasm. As Maud Young, she embodied a wealthy, socially prominent woman with a down-to-earth attitude and a strong will, characteristics that Ritter conveyed with finesse. The film focuses on the intersecting lives of its passengers, from the wealthy aristocrats to the hopeful immigrants. Ritter's character, interacting with both ends of this social spectrum, brought a unique perspective to the narrative, highlighting the class divisions of the time. In Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, 1954, Thelma Ritter portrayed Stella, the wise and witty nurse who assists the wheelchair-bound protagonist, Jeff James Stewart. Grace Kelly was the film's leading lady, but it was Ritter who provided the comic relief and strong common sense. Her humorous one-liners and impeccable timing made her character unforgettable. In the film The Proud and Profane, 1956, in this wartime drama, Thelma Ritter starred alongside William Holden and Deborah Carr. Ritter played Kate Connors, a no-nonsense army nurse. Despite the film's star-studded cast, Ritter's character brought humor and loyalty to the story, and her scenes with Carr showcased her ability to steal the limelight. Thelma Ritter's comic genius appeared once again in Pillow Talk, 1959, a romantic comedy starring Rock Hudson and Doris Day. Ritter played Alma, Day's loyal housekeeper and confidant. Her character added a delightful layer of humor and wit to the film, often overshadowing the lead actors with her memorable lines and sharp delivery. Thelma Ritter's performance in The Misfits, 1961, was also memorable. In this film, Ritter played the role of Isabel Steers, adding her unique touch to a story that explores the sudden doom and despair of the aging characters. Ritter's character, Isabel Steers, is a wise and down-to-earth figure, providing a stabilizing presence in the midst of the trials and tribulations of the characters. Her performance is a masterclass in character acting as a confidant and friend to Rosalind Tabor, played by Marilyn Monroe. Isabel's pragmatic and straightforward demeanor contrasts with Rosalind's more vulnerable and combustible nature. Rosalind becomes involved with an aging cowboy, Gay Langland, Clark Gable, and his friend, Perce Howland, Montgomery Clift. The film explores the various challenges faced by its aging characters, each struggling to find meaning and purpose. In Birdman of Alcatraz, 1962, Thelma Ritter earned her fifth Academy Award nomination for her performance in this biographical drama. She played Elizabeth Stroud, the mother of Robert Stroud, 
Bert Lancaster, a real-life convicted murderer who becomes an ornithologist, bird expert, while in prison. Ritter's portrayal of the supportive and caring mother added an emotional connection to the film that was heartbreaking and unforgettable. Her sincere belief and conviction that her violent son could turn around his life made for touching and memorable scenes. How the West Was Won, 1962, was an epic western, boasted an ensemble cast featuring Hollywood legends like James Stewart, John Wayne, and Henry Fonda. Thelma Ritter appeared as Agatha Clegg, a courageous pioneer woman. Her portrayal of this strong-willed character added strength and courage to the film of unsung heroes, and her scenes with such iconic actors further cemented her reputation as a scene-stealer. Thelma Ritter was nominated six times for the Best Supporting Actress Oscar, making her the most nominated supporting actress in Hollywood history, a record that still stands to this day. A remarkable feat for an actress that almost never had a leading role. To put this feat in context, as of this writing, Thelma Ritter has the same number of Oscar nominations as Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio, Ellen Burstyn, and Amy Adams and more Oscar nominations than Sean Penn, Susan Sarandon, and Nicole Kidman. Here are the movies for which Thelma Ritter received her Oscar nominations. If you haven't seen all of these movies, this is a good starting point to appreciate the amazing talent of Thelma Ritter. 1. All About Eve, 1950 2. The Mating Season, 1951 3. With a Song in My Heart, 1952 4. Pick Up on South Street, 1953 5. Pillow Talk, 1959 6. Birdmen of Alcatraz, 1962 In summary, Thelma Ritter was a remarkable talent who consistently stole scenes from other famous classic movie co-stars. Her relatable everywoman characters, memorable voice, sharp wit, and impeccable comedic timing left an unforgettable mark on classic cinema. Her performances were powerhouses, cementing her enduring legacy as one of Hollywood's finest actresses. Thelma Ritter will be forever remembered by all true classic film fans as one of the greatest of all time.